My name is Flight Lieutenant Nosheen Chowdhury and I'm an Aerosystems Engineering Officer in the Royal Air Force. When I was younger I joined the Air Training Corps and um, it inspired me so much that when I went to university I decided to apply for a Royal Air Force bursary and having successfully gained that Royal Air Force bursary I went to university to study engineering and then straight into the RAF afterwards. The thing I enjoy most about my career in the Air Force is the variety of job roles it offers me and the variety of locations I could fulfil those job roles in. For example, I could be posted overseas um, if the opportunity arose. The, the teamwork within the RAF is second to none. Um, I've worked in close-knit teams in high-pressure environments, uh, out on operations, and everyone pulls together. And this is primarily because of the training we've had and uh, the types of environments that we have to work within. The opportunities I've had in my career so far have been quite diverse, especially with respect to sports. So I've been given the opportunity to represent the Royal Air Force in sport overseas um, and at home as well against different teams within the UK. Uh, I've also been given the opportunity to uh, pursue additional studies and I've completed two additional masters and uh, a BSc part-time whilst I've been in the Royal Air Force. My family is quite proud of me. Um, initially they were sceptical before I joined the Royal Air Force but fortunately I joined at the same time as my sister and uh, we went through that journey together. Since then they've, uh, they've learnt to appreciate everything that I do and they're very proud of me. Uh, my friends think it's an amazing opportunity and um, a lot of my friends are actually uh, within the RAF as well. If you're looking to join the RAF, I would suggest that you contact as many people as possible and do as much research as possible. There are so many different roles and the different roles suit different people. Um, so if you can visit an RAF station or talk to the people that are actually serving, that would definitely help.